Well, first of all, I guess, welcome to Stockholm once again. Thank you. It's a place you've visited many times before. It certainly is. Uh, do you have any uh, memories from, from previous visits? Yeah, but we're not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the first time here ever? Bloody hell. Well, that was the first time we ever came to Europe, wasn't it? We came, went to Denmark and then we came to Sweden. Yeah. 1969, just after we recorded our first album. Mm -hmm. It was very common back then to, to go to Denmark, I know, for, for British bands, and Germany uh, especially. Yeah. And yeah. Then also Sweden. So it seems yeah. like we have a tradition of, of, of uh, having British rock musicians here on tour. It's Copenhagen, oh, isn't it? Is it a good crowd here? Is yeah. It's, it's, mm? Yeah, it's been good. Anyway, the mighty Sabbath is back, I guess, but in a different incarnation than uh, that we've gotten used to over the years now. Um, once again, it's reunion time, folks, and I guess we've heard that story before with, with big bands. Uh, reunifications are, are um, quite common these days. Weren't you uh, content with the uh, last lineup? Yeah, I thought the last lineup was good for what we've done as that band, you know. Um, but uh, when the opportunity came of, of putting the, this band back together again, was, <coughs> there's, there's no. No comparison, you know. I mean, it was great because I wanted to work with Geese again. Anyway, whatever we'd done, <coughs> it doesn't matter whatever name we were under or whatever. I just wanted to, um, you know, to continue playing with Geese because we've always been best of friends and, and great working together. You left the band uh, and rejoined. Uh, why was that? Well, I left in, what was it, 85, because I just wanted to spend some time with the, my family. Um, I've been like constantly touring and recording and everything and just needed a break really. But then what, what uh, made you want to come back? I plucked to play with Tony again, I thought it was the right time to do You know, I'd, I'd been at home writing on my own for a few years and I felt I had something to offer again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought this is the right time to get back. In many ways, the two of you are actually the, the, the core of Black Sabbath. Uh, yeah, we are. It's, we, we, without any of you, it, it would be hard to, to, to see the band as Black Sabbath, really. Yeah, uh, believe me, the years he wasn't with us, it weren't for the one to me calling up trying to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> While you were home uh, chopping wood, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just down with his feet up while we were out there. Yeah, watching the tally. There you go. Uh, what triggered the idea, though, to reform the second most legendary lineup of uh, Black Sabbath? Geezer. Um, no, it's just me and Ronnie met up in America and got up and jammed with him and just had a few beers together and talked about things and it just seemed we had a really good time and um, just talked about all the stuff that split us up before and got that out of the way. And what was that? I mean, what caused the, the uh, initial split? It mainly came from too much touring on the Heaven and Hell and Mob Rolls. We just didn't have any, because it was so successful, we just didn't have a any time out to a break or anything and um, sort of we all got in each other's way and didn't really talk to each other on the tour and we just kept getting further and further apart or you know Ronnie and myself and Tony particularly Ronnie was like getting further apart from us mm. and um, came to a head when we'd finished the touring we went in to do the live album and we just couldn't work together anymore. Now I heard some nasty stories there uh, around uh, the time of the live album with uh, the two of you being uh, in the studio mixing at night or uh, day and Ronnie coming in and uh, raising his vocals uh, and you coming back and raising the bass or whatever. Well, this is the one, one of the things I talked to Ronnie about when I first saw him and it's like news to him. He says, you know, where the hell did all this come from? And it was the engineer at the time that we had. This guy was like total alka. <laughs> it's just like when we'd leave the studio, he'd get like a few more bottles of Jack Daniels down him, mm -hmm. and it was obviously him messing about with the controls. Something of an obvious conclusion <coughs> to uh, an outside, outsider looking in is that uh, Dio's career was in rapid decline uh, and has been for a uh, few years and also Sabbath was struggling uh, after a while and that uh, is uh, the reason that you reformed something that used to be very commercial. No, that's not the, that's not the reason. 
the reason was is that we got a lot of, I mean, I was settled as far as doing that thing, whatever it would have taken, and we were, uh, but we still wanted to get something together. You know, whatever, if we hadn't have been the Sabbath or whatever, Goose and myself were planning on doing something together. So it's not a, a case of because it's, a, it's obviously grass is greener on the other side. It's not that one. It was a good opportunity to get together because we've still got a lot to offer, and we feel that this lineup and this unit has got a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. um, We'd already started in here uh, doing working together. Before Ronnie even came back, <clears throat> we were at a place in Wales rehearsing and uh, Ronnie talked to Tony and just came over and just said everything, how it was between everyone. Mm -hmm. 